Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome to non-content podcast number shaky cam number, uh, what are we at, 18 now? 18, I think. Yeah, no. we're podcast number 18. As always, we are with uh, Team Procreate, and they've got other podcasts, uh, they do uh, Pod on Pod, who I'm fairly, who even if they have, we're, they're still saying, come on guys, where's our episode? We're yeah, easy, we're, we're where's easy. Where's our second episode? Where's yes. our second, because obviously they've done one by now. And they also, just have it saved. <laughs> yeah, they just have it saved. They're just, they're just saving it for a rainy day. Mm-hmm. And and also, Movie Buzz, where they watch movies and they get drunk. Um, they're not watching Harry Potter anymore. That much I know. Um, I didn't recognize the movie by the title, though. And I'm not I like how it. every time it changes how drunk they're getting, like yep. in our introduction. <laughs> yep. <laughs> At one point, they get shit-faced. Sometimes they get a buzz, I guess. Whenever Harrison says it, this buzz, whenever I say it, they're shit-faced. No, it ch- I think everyone like who introduced it just changes every week. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah. Fuck them. Fuck it. Fuck everyone. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. We got our guest. Got a guest. Nick we, again. We don't have hey. Harrison. Harrison is probably dead at this point. Yeah. He's probably dead. We're, we're, probably already, dead. we're already dividing up his estate. There was a sign that said Cliff, and he couldn't read it, so he kind of just walked off. Harrison Harrison can't read. Harrison can't read. That's... Everyone knows that. That's canon. Um, Yeah, but so... Well, I have... You know, we just gotta get this start off right with a... uh... It's showtime! Yes, it is. Yes, it is. There we go. We have a soundboard now. <laughs> we have a soundboard now. Have... After much effort and deliberation, we have a soundboard. God help us all. God save the queen. The queen is depending on this soundboard. Yeah, the queen, God the queen... save Oni-chan. That's your cue. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I had to find the button. <laughs> it's wonderful. Uh, so, speaking of Oni-chan... Um, I don't know how to lead into it. You, you guys have talked more about it. You guys, you, you guys. Now you fucked up. Now you done fucked up. You uh, have Sakura, done fucked Sakura up. Sakura Spirit is a is oh, a yeah. is a. So we we just going novel. straight into what we're playing. Uh, let's let's just let's just start let's just start with Sakura Spirit because you've played it, haven't you? Yeah, there's an episode of it on my channel right now. Oh, okay then. So yeah, as someone who hasn't played it yet. Tell me, on a scale of one to Yif, how furry is it? Oh, oh my. Um, it's less furry, more Nekomimis. Okay. So. Because <laughs> it looked extremely furry. No, it's, more, it's mostly Nekomimis. Um, they're not like actually foxes, it's the... Uh, they're like Jack Kitsune Seas, bullshit? Like, yeah, they're Kitsunes. So, so uh, So, how, like, what... Oh, best I can tell from the description is you're a judo guy that gets sent back in time. Like, what's that about? I don't think you actually got sent back in time. I think you got sent to a different world. So or it's kind of like the Ninja Turtles when they go to Dimension X or whatever. Yeah, it's weird. So I thought it was back in time too at one point, but then a wise old man told me that I was in another world, possibly or something. Was it the wise old man standing next to the two uh, foxy chicks on uh, the store photos? I don't remember what the store photos look like. Hold on. <laughs> there's no like they they have the the game they have screen gameplay screenshots, uh, and there's one of an old dude standing next to two chicks, and they're just staring at you, and the old dude standing there like oh, I can't masturbate right now. Um, but he's, got, he's got his hand in position though. He's like, oh just yeah, that's, look away. that's the that's the old dude. One hand under the robe, the other on his cane. Yeah. <laughs> so so some basically, of the girls both hands are ready in position. Yeah, some of the girls in this are Nekomimis, some are just normal girls-ish, except one bitch just holds a katana all the time, and the other one has a Nabunaga all the time. So basically, they're just Japanese stereotypes? Yeah, or Nabunaga, oh my god, I used an emperor's name, Uh, Nagatana. (laughs) Nagatana, Nagatana, that's the long spear thingy, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why I said Nabunaga. I was gonna say, I I was like, Nabunaga. Nabunaga. That doesn't was... sound correct, but I'm not weeb enough to dispute it. Yeah, Nobunaga is the guy who conquered all of Japan. Yeah, <laughs> he was he was at Samurai Jack ass, right? Samurai Jack. Ass. Samurai, J- gotta go back back to the past. We gotta go back. But yeah, 
so he so you, you're in the past maybe or a different world i guess and you're it's, it's not clear it's not clear yeah it's far enough back either way that the chick who who swung the naganata at you doesn't know what judo is so well and how old's judo judo's fucking old i know it's like <laughs> isn't judo supposed to be like like super old like one of the starter ones uh judo was Judo, my very to... first martial arts kit. <laughs> Baby's first martial art. <laughs> um, God, I don't even remember when. It, I think it got formed in like 1860? Yeah, 1860. That's like super fucking old. Wait, you're telling yeah. me that that's, that's how old Judo is? Oh. Yeah. No, Dude, okay, the Japanese have been around for how fucking long? They yeah, I, I, had, I, like, I know, but it's like... It, but. No well, one gives it. No one gives a shit about was, like judo movements before that. Yeah, but like but it wasn't uh, official, constructed into an yeah, art as an official thing. Judo was until the eighteen whatever. But then again, weren't most things not until the eighteen eighteen hundred? A lot of martial arts weren't really considered like a yeah. thing until after a lot of wars. Yeah, it was like, basically it was basically you did them, but it wasn't a name for them. So what yeah. you're saying is pre eighteen hundred samurais were hipsters. Basically, yeah. They were... I mean... It, it's kind of like that game all men play that all men think they invented where, they're, where they just aim their pee at the toilet and everyone does it. Oh, I love that game. Yeah. I love it when people put stickers in the urinals and, like, it, it creates a target. <laughs> yeah. Target purchase. <laughs> it's basically, I invented karate. No, I invented karate while I was peeing in the ur urinal. What? And then they fight. Let us fight with our dongs out. I in the bathroom, practicing karate. For some reason, I thought you were going to say And that's how I Kendo think. was born. <laughs> no, okay, on, like, in all honesty, Kendo was born in a response to Judo. Yeah, it Because was. Judo was really good at killing people while you didn't have anything in your hands. That's all Judo was for. Judo was for people, like, when somebody stabs at you, grab their staff, shove it in the throat, and kill them. <laughs> like, so basically pretty much for poor was. people that couldn't afford weapons. And couldn't figure um, out what to do when somebody shoved a weapon at them. It was, no, it was more for people who, like, got disarmed and were like, shit, I still have to kill people mm. and because they still want me dead even though I don't have something in my hands right now. God. Got your nose, got your weapon, fuck. Yeah, it should be. It should, see, that's, there's, no, there's no honor in combat. Whenever someone loses the weapon, you should just put up your hands and go, like, time out, guys, I gotta find it. And then <laughs> everyone goes and I has tea. I contact. Stop. No, no one move. I have to find my contacts. <laughs> <laughs> Why does no it sound like move. something that actually happened? <laughs> it happened at a LARPers convention, probably. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, but so Sakura Spirit. Sakura Spirit. Um, yeah, so besides that point, it's, uh, it's actually pretty good. It's, like, it's a, a decent visual novel. The main character isn't, like, fucking stupid or annoying. So, it, so it's better than Go Go Nippon. So much better than Go Go Nippon. Like I was think, like I was making a joke, and I stopped making jokes like this like a quarter of the way through the video because it would just like what I would say would just happen the next panel. It would be like it's like you know, panty thief comes through, and the dude ends up with like ends up being like caught. Okay, so panties get thrown in the air, land on his face. Um. Okay. Well, that doesn't and, surprise me. You know, in normal in normal visual novel. The guy goes, uh, I, 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 and then Does this guy taking a gigantic face. sniff. No, this guy's like, the fuck do I want these for? And he's like, <laughs> here, do you want them back? So, so he's the least Japanese man. Yeah, except so what you're saying is he's French. My he's God, a, he's no otaku too. I think he's making references like the, in this game. There are references to manga that are like obscure in Japan. Like, shit that I read at one point, and I was, I was like, this has, like, 20 chapters and it's some dumb bullshit. And then, like, first episode, I already see a reference to it. Oh, <laughs> wow. wow. Yeah. Jeez. I, okay. I, when, I, when I saw the preview pictures and just saw, well, there's titties there, titties there, titties there, titties there. I was that's just like, expecting it to be, like, go-go Nippon levels of bad, but now I'm actually interested too. in it. It's actually pretty good, though. The writing's decent. Um, you do have your tropey characters, though. Oh, yeah, you've got the they... fucking cat girl that never puts down the fucking sword. Mm. Actually, I don't think the cat girls have weapons. They're magic. Um, whatever, I'm just... 
I'm only like half remembering the pictures because I was looking at the boobs. Yeah. Let's invent yeah, a new I drinking mean, game, guys. Let's drink every time we don't see boobs in a Japanese visual novel. Dude, that is, that is the only game you will wind up sober. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, like most of the visual novels, you don't get to see much titty. It's... Aww. Well, most of the, most of the quote-unquote good ones that are artistic. The rest yeah, of them, but... no. So many tits. I mean, even 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 Katawa Shoujo, which every which is the the first visual novel I actually played for my channel. Um, even that one, there's, there's characters. There's one character model whose whose constant thing is is push her tits forward. Then there's even the shy girl. She's got like double D's and shit. And then even the even the like the blind girl does it. The blind girl does it. So it's like it's like she has to fiz if she were to do that in like real life, she would have to like. Like, just, no. She, she would have to, like, have practiced that. To be fair, Katara <laughs> Shoujo is just cripple porn. So. It is basically cripple porn. But basically, but it has maybe the least amount of boob, like, straight out. Like, it's just yeah. subtle. It's more subtle, is what I'm saying. Yeah, this one, it's, there. there's some tits just straight out out there. I mean, my first episode is called Play It for the Plot. <laughs> Play it for and the then plot. the second episode is going to be the panty fiasco. I well, the plot has suddenly game. disappeared. I need to play this game. I know, you know what? The panty fiasco is actually plot. Like, that's not even a joke, it's actual plot. I need, I, this, this game, I need to play it. I need to play it so badly. Yeah, it's still on sale for another day. Yep, uh, I'm probably gonna pick it up, just... Oh, I, I think it'll be worth it. <laughs> How much is it? It's, uh, uh like seven, dollars. Seven, seven bucks once on sale. Oh, fuck that, no. Yeah. <laughs> I bought. I only bought fucking Gogo Nippon because it was like two bucks on a sale. So it was yeah. Like, and even then, that's too much. I yeah. paid. I paid five dollars too much. This is some pretty impressive plots right here. Hmm. Ah oh, man, double F plot. Plot uh, only refers I... to ass, by the way. Just. Eh. If you want to get your euphemisms correctly. Well, I mean. GG plot. G -G. You know how much ass was in this? How much? A lot. There's a. It's called the panty fiasco, my second episode. How much ass <laughs> do you think I saw? <laughs> well, do you want it in metric or imperial? imperial. Let's go on a scale from <clears throat> men's locker room, okay, to, and this is in reverse, church. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what would be in the middle of that. Like, um, uh, public school. How much ass did you see in public school, dude? Yeah. Um, I'm in America, and I went to school in the ghetto, so... So uh, did I. Intermediate amounts. I never saw amounts. any, like, bare ass. Well, let me tell you about North Carolina, my friend. Let's not. Let's move on to... I know, I'm even... interested in what's going on here. Oh. <laughs> At least play a sound. Make... Um, play a sound. All right, do you have the sound of two... There we go. That's about perfect. That's the sound of two ash cheeks rubbing together in one of those tight rubber skirts that I used to see all the time oh, wait, in middle I school. I have one. Fill it up. Shake that ass for me. There we go. <laughs> That's perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> so, all right. Yeah, I guess I can see that. I did see a lot of under, like under ass from. Okay, yeah, public school. Public school announce. Mm. Oh ah, my god. But yeah, okay. it's pretty good. Let's, it's... let's move on. Let's move on to what else you've been playing. What else you've been playing? Um, I was at Evo. Oh, you was I at got Evo. Bodied. Mm. You just got destroyed. Uh, I played King of Fighters 13, out by the third round. Um, that wasn't too bad, honestly. Like, whatever. It's I, I didn't plan to go very far, but I thought I was gonna go decently far with uh, Ultra Street Fighter. Four rounds in. A four? Wow. Yeah. I, I expect well, better of you. Well, okay. To be fair, my fourth round was against, like, the top, the uh, third seed Blanca player of last year. Okay. So, <laughs> I got bad draws. Okay. That was uh, a piss poor draw. I can, I can forgive that. I but yeah, he was. But yeah, when I got eliminated. Like, afterwards, some little asshole thought, like, oh, yeah, he's like, asked me. I don't even think he was being malicious. I think he just really wanted to know. He's like, what, you know, what's your game plan against him? 
And I was like, instantly replied. Because my actual game plan was I was playing against um, Ryo. Mm -hmm. Ryo. And uh, so, you know, Ryo, you just mix in highs and lows, and you try to get in there, pretty much. Yeah. So that's what it actually was. But my instant reply was, walk in to four Shoryukens in a row to make him feel overconfident. <laughs> <laughs> that's wow. the only way. That's the only way. Because th that's how I lost that last round. I got hit by four Shoryukens. <laughs> four. It was a goddamn pain. The last one was an anti-air Shoryuken. I was like, fuck. <laughs> Could, could, you, could you imagine if, if they implemented VR Street Fighter? He wouldn't be here. He'd be in a coma. <laughs> After taking one Blanca ball, I'd be in a coma. <laughs> uh, just, no. uh, so besides fighting games, yeah. Uh, let's see. Dynasty Warriors 8. Uh, you're, you're always playing Dynasty Warriors 8. Always. Huh? I actually just reinstalled it. Um... Yakuza again. Oh, Yakuza 5. I'm playing Yakuza 5. I finally broke down and bought a uh, translation book and a Japanese copy. Well. Yeah, so now I'm playing Yakuza 5. And I swear to God, if in Yak if they when they make another Yakuza, because they are. You know they are. They but can't when they not. When they make another one, if on, on Saijima's upgrades, if Essence of Bear Punching isn't there, I'm going to flip shit. <laughs> Because I just played through the mission Sajima. where half of it, you have to shoot a bear with a rifle. Wait, Sajima, he's, he's, he was the guy... On. Yeah, he's, he was the big, dot, the big dude with like the greased down hair, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, All huge right. dude. Green trench coat. Yeah. But yeah, so he... The half of it, you, you're shooting a bear with a rifle in this arena, right? Mm -hmm. But then it knocks you down and you lose your rifle. And for the rest of its health bar... <laughs> You beat the shit out of a bear. <laughs> wow. And it ends with him just like going, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, and knocking <laughs> the fuck out of a bear. Buddy, 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 buddy. Essence of bear punching. Pretty much. Like, it, right as soon as you hit them, this sh Ooh, what you say? <laughs> Ooh, that you only meant well. <laughs> That's never gonna get old. He says as it's going to get old in like twenty minutes. We'll see. We'll see. If we can we get it? Can we get like a counter for how many times that sound effect gets played? Uh, no, because that requires me editing. Oh, fuck you. Uh, oh, <laughs> his his microphone has actually died because of it. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Your microphone never reactivated, bro. We can't hear you. So, while he's fixing that, Nick, what have you been playing? Well, you know, um, on the non-video game side, because it's the only thing that's new, I've been playing Hearthstone for a while, but on the non-video game side, recently started up a uh, tabletop RPG with about nine other people. It's real fun. We all crowd into my house around my dining room table and imagine how to fit, like, seven more people when there aren't that many chairs. Um, yeah, I've got Deadpool and Daredevil, um, a couple other people have, like, random Avengers. It's all Avengers, and we're doing a, uh, Avengers vs. X-Men storyline, but can, can basically... Can hear us? I'm wondering oh, I can it... hear you. Okay, because it, looked like, you, it looked like you were talking, but there's no nope. sound. I was just waiting until you guys stopped talking. Okay. Oh, okay. But yeah, basically, um, yeah, we, we don't get anything done. It's ten people in total, uh, minus... You know, the game master who really doesn't talk that much and tries to keep things in line. But I think we played for five hours straight. And, and let me got... guess, Iron Man just sat around and got drunk. No, we got four turns in. But let me tell you about when we had three people actually playing. And one of them was Iron Man. There was this elaborate setup. This was like a year ago. There was this elaborate setup, okay? There's Iron Man, Deadpool, me... That I'm always Deadpool because I fucking love Deadpool. I love messing with everybody and oh, getting so XP just, for making people laugh. You just straight up laugh. speak to the DM, probably. I literally took a turn one time to build a pie stand and burst into the X-Men's hideout and surprise them with pie. Aside from that, there was this elaborate setup with, with Deadpool, Iron Man, and Nightcrawler all on a plane about to fight uh, the Templar, or whatever the fuck his name mm -hmm. is. The passengers on the plane. 
this whole situation's got to be delicate because we've got to make sure that none of the passengers get hurt, that the plane doesn't crash, that we don't kill the pilot. Iron Unfortunately, says, you're Deadpool. Un no, unfortunately, Iron Man 3 had just come out. And Iron Man says, why don't I just land the plane? The GM just stares at us for about two minutes straight, and he says, roll against the pool. Pool rolls 19. Doom Pool rolls 19, he rolls a solid 20. He lands the plane, kills the Templar, and the entire adventure, which was supposed to last two hours, lasted about 10 minutes. I did, I did something similar in a D&D &D run, like, a while ago, except it didn't, like, it didn't end poorly. But I was, like, I was playing as a, um, like, a conjurer, pretty much. And it was, like, they, they made it, um, like, you could use modern shit in it, too, was our rules. And there was, like, oh, someone's stuck in this part of the castle. And I was, like, conjure wrecking ball. Smash through wall. He was like, that was a five-hour plot, you shit. And I was like, 15 <laughs> minutes, bitch. What do you want? <laughs> oh, my favorite stuff is messing with the fucking GM. Oh like, the God. Deadpool teleporter. I'll try and teleport behind people and slit their throats before they can do anything, like, nine times out of ten. Wait, this Deadpool, hasn't succeeded Deadpool, yet. Deadpool can actually teleport? Yeah, he has a teleporter. Oh, I thought that was just in that shitty movie. No, no, no. no. Yeah, no, it's, it's part of his thing. I've actually been reading the Deadpool comics to help get in with the uh, characterization. I, hmm, I, I think I just, I think I just wasn't paying attention to the fact he could teleport. He, yeah, no, uh, That's Deadpool, the thing with fourth wall characters. They could teleport and you could just put it down to them just stepping through the fucking frame. Oh, you could, but he has a literal teleporter. I know, like, I just completely forgot. Yeah, no, I've been reading the actual comics. His powers are um, the healing factor, which is a reduced version of Wolverine's healing factor, and it's he, artificially I induced. I thought his power... I thought his was stronger than Wolverine's because he doesn't have adamantium. No, well, it depends on who you read. But oh. in the original run, his powers are slightly weaker than Wolverine's, and they contribute to the skin cancer, completely taking over his entire body and covering it in tumors and making him ugly as shit. Um, but he can't die from it. So. But he can't die from it. Uh, Actually, he, he, can't die, he can't die, period, because he was cursed That's by Thanos. That's not true. Well, in a, in a different run. But run rereading. Oh. Yeah, in the original run, he, he can die. If you cut off his head, you have to reattach it, but then, like, some shit happens, and he, like, if he loses a limb, he doesn't get to grow it back. He starts off with the ability to grow back limbs and reattach his head and be burned all over and be fine, but uh, some shit happens. I'm not going to spoil that. But he also has the katanas, he has the teleporter, and he has the blaster, so okay. that's his shit, and he's also su uh, really strong. Not super strong, but really strong. Yeah, and some, in some rules, like, runs of Deadpool, he is unbeatable. Like, literally unbeatable, because be, he yeah. literally doesn't die. To be honest, I, pr I, I prefer that version of Deadpool, because Deadpool isn't supposed to be serious. Yeah, no, he's, he's not. not. No, in the later runs of the comics, uh, one of the issues, I can't remember what it is, I don't think it's New 52, it, I, it's before that, slightly, but uh, I don't think Deadpool is a New 52. Anyways. He isn't. He, he, um, he has a literal romance with death. Yeah. And, and as a result, he cannot die. Yeah, no, actually, it's not because of the romance with death. It's because Thanos, right. Thanos also has the hots for death. And um, he curses Deadpool to never die using the Infinity Gauntlet. Because if Deadpool can't die, he can't be with death. If he can't be with death, then that leaves, that means Thanos basically wins. wins. Yeah. It's just of. like one of my Japanese animes. Yeah. Why don't you have that on your soundboard? I don't even know what that's from. It's so. from Metal Gear Awesome. Oh. My, one of my favorite thing, things of Deadpool I, I read was um, the scrolls basically touched down on Earth and were like, yo, we're here to fuck your shit up. And Deadpool was like, sounds like a plan, I'll join up. Hmm. And so he joined up with the scrolls and he's like, hey, I'll train you a bunch of Deadpool scrolls. You can imagine how that goes. There's a there's a, a issue in the original comics where he goes up against um, the guy that tortures people to death. I can't remember what his name is, but Punisher. I, I think it, either way he traps not, Deadpool you're and like not actually Punisher. Not probably not. I don't know. He traps Deadpool to a table and he's got a device that's rigged to come down and crush him to death for every few words that he talks. And he says, "So how long do I have?" And the guy's like, "Well, give or take a couple of pleas for life or death. Uh, you have about 20 minutes." And like every time he talks, it goes a little bit faster. Deadpool causes it to, like, descend upon him so rapidly that the guy bursts out laughing, and Deadpool breaks, like, every limb he has trying to get away from the dude. And in the end, he just bites the guy's ankle, and the guy's laughing so hard he spares Deadpool's life, and Deadpool wakes up, like, four hours later on the top of an abandoned building, like, what the fuck? 
<laughs> Deadpool is probably like, to be honest, I think anyone who like delights in taking like the pain of his victims could never go against Deadpool because I don't think Deadpool actually feels pain anymore. He he feels some pain, but just not enough to make him distressed. Yeah. Like, I think Deadpool will probably laugh off, like, any major injury rather than actually feel pain. That's pretty much oh, what man. he does. Yeah. Do you remember that weird, like, cyberpunk Punisher run where he went to the future and he was the future Punisher? The Torturer, and, like, he... that's what his name was. Sorry, go on. Oh. Well, no shit. Literally the, the Torturer. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, Very creative um, with the names. That run where, like, the Punisher would shoot dudes with these things. They were, like, little needles. And it were like it's pretty much a needle or gun, but and when it one hits explode? you, no, it like goes through your bloodstream and like kills you very painfully over thirty five minutes, like immobilizing pain. I I, I imagine I like to imagine that the Punisher would be like, man, fuck that shit. No, the Punisher's all into it. Really, he's all up into it. He doesn't see like Frank he likes ties, doesn't. He, he, he doesn't likes straight. He doesn't seem like the guy who would do that. He'd probably just like want to put a bullet in them or th feed him to a wood chipper. Oh, there was a lot of torture porn in early Punisher. I know, it's just, that's like, just like, when I think of Punisher, I just think of the... It's probably the Xbox game that did, that did it. Because that game, like, you just feed people to a wood chipper. Honestly, the Punisher movies and games are barely even canon. Yeah. <laughs> I'd, like to, I'd like to maintain that that war whatever one it's called is I not never, canon. I never watched any of the Punisher movies, so... Uh, the first Punisher movie is actually good. It just breaks a little bit of the canon. Mm. Uh, but the second one is pretty bad. Fucking Punisher, man. It's like, why are there so many bad superhero movies? Dude, let's like, not... Uh, okay, Elektra. Electra. Fucking Elektra. Now, that was... Okay, it was a spinoff for Daredevil, which was not a good movie in itself. I, I'm not going to say Deadpool was good. Uh, not Deadpool. Daredevil, Daredevil was good. I'm not going to say Daredevil it. was a good movie. Yeah, I liked it. It was a fun movie. Yeah. 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 Okay, but it was not a good movie, and that's the point. And the, the, the box office ratings didn't show that. So the producers decided, well, hey, let's take one of the favorite people from Daredevil who was in this movie, change the actress, change the superpowers, change the backstory, and put her in her own movie, which did so poorly the company went almost bankrupt. When she's actually supposed to be dead. Yeah, pretty much. Did they ever explain why she's not dead? Nope. Nope. They also they also took Typhoid Mary, changed her to Typhoid, changed her powers and backstory, and just made it impossible to recognize her. Hmm. Though I, I will I will say that what the Daredevil movie did do good is they made Bullseye actually a good villain. Bu okay, no, New Bullseye is such a good villain. Have you um, not seen what New Bullseye does? I have does? not seen the New Bullseye. <laughs> what does okay. he do? Does he still wear so that stupid fucking purple Hawkeye bullshit? So Does he still wear the stupid yeah. fucking target on his forehead? No. Hey, I like the target on his forehead. He, oh, come on, that it, looks ridiculous. It was funny. They made it look a lot better. But no, so New Bullseye, they, he gets uh, contracted to kill um, the Punisher. And oh, wait, like, I okay, know this one. I need to, like, I need to get into his shoes. So I need nice. to, like... Yeah, I just read this comic, like, a few weeks ago. So he's like, I need to get into his shoes. I need to know how he feels. So he kidnaps a family... And takes them out on a picnic. And he's like, oh, I'm so happy. This is the happiest I've ever felt. I love you all so much. I hope nothing happens to them. <clears throat> I said, I hope nothing happens to them. And dudes he hired come out of the bushes and kills, like, the family just instantly. And he's like, shit. And he's, I don't like, really wearing feel a bulletproof vest as well to make sure. Yeah. He's like, I don't really feel sad or anything. I have to go get another family. So by the end, he comes back to his contract and he's like, what the fuck have you been doing? And he's like, well, I mean, they're like, what the fuck have you been doing? You've killed six families. Oh, wait, six? I thought it was four. Oh, I thought it was... Oh. 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 He's gone. He's frozen, Jim. Good God. I was frozen today. Oh, shit. Oh, no. His hair grew back. Bullseye knows that. Bullseye knew that I was onto him. But yeah, um, so... That was, the, that was the Kingpin, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was he Kingpin. made Wilson fucking Fisk show empathy. <laughs> yeah. But so, I thought, I thought it was six, but it might have been four. Fisk, I don't remember. Where do I know that name from? Uh, he's the Kingpin. But yeah, oh, that's New, right. Bulls, New Bullseye is such, like, he's such a good villain. 
Like, that's some villainous shit. Mm. Like, that is... Mm, that is good. That is super good. I mean... Uh, like, the only... I mean, like, the only other bit of new bulls, like, relatively new bulls I saw was where they had that Dark Avengers thing, where basically Harry Osborn leads a fake Avengers of Wolverine's son pretending to be Wolverine, um, Bullseye pretending to be Hawkeye, and, it's basically, and Venom pretending to be Spider-Man, and, like, all sorts of weird bullshit like that. Yeah. And the Hobgoblin, or the, the, the kid pretending that he's something he's not to earn his father's love. What's his name? But, Fucking uh, are you Norman talking Osmond. about Batman's kid? No, 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 no it's Goblin's all kid. no, it's all um, Marvel stuff. Okay, no, yeah. fucking shit. I, I forgot what we were talking it's about. Norm, for a it's Norman. I, it's Norman Osborn leading them, and I don't remember exactly who is. Basically, it's all like the like A tier, A tier um, Avengers that that could be easily replaced, like you know Spider Man, Hawkeye, like all the ones where like you never see their face, and like you it'd be obvious, like it wouldn't be obvious if they were replaced. <laughs> Wait, wait, you see Hawkeye's face like half the time? No, wait, no. No, I haven't seen he, his comic he, he, design. He's, um, he's, he's got the big dumb purple mask. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. Basically like Bullseye's old costume. Yeah, I can't... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember that run too much. It was a while ago. Yeah, it was a while ago. <laughs> But um, speaking of bad comic book movies, you remember that um, Halle Berry Catwoman movie? Let's not oh. talk about that. No. Where the plot was literally about makeup. Let's <laughs> let's never talk about that movie. That's not. That's, that's not. Ever. I didn't even know it existed until a short while ago, and I'd like to keep it that way. No. Or the Green Lantern movie. No. Which Green Lantern is mm -mm. the shittiest fucking. Right, like you know what, Green Lantern would be such a cool superhero if the writing in Green Lantern wasn't so awful. Green Lantern, I'm gonna make a brick wall. You can make anything. Green Lantern would be a good movie if they picked any Lantern except Hal Jordan. Yeah. If they didn't cast Ryan Reynolds. Ryan, Ryan Reynolds, Reynolds the only superhero, actor. the only superhero Ryan Reynolds should play is Deadpool. No, I don't agree with that. No. No, look, look, when he was being Wade Wilson in the start of that shitty Wolf in the, that shitty Wolverine movie, yeah, and like he was he was literally just Wade Wilson. He didn't have any powers yet. He was perfect for Deadpool. Well, and okay, De I'll, and I was I'll expecting I was expecting them to go and actually have a real Deadpool, and then then that happened. They sewed his mouth shut. Pre yeah. pre uh, pre surgery uh, Deadpool pre cancer Deadpool and Weapon X Deadpool is. I, I can see him for that. Anything else, and, though, like, later Deadpool's got to change completely. Also, to be fair, you can't really blame the actor for poor writing. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> like, I can see, I can see, like, the, that he could be a good, he could be a good Deadpool. Like, he's got the humor for it. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I can blame him for being a poor fit. General. Yeah, and, and have you seen, like, some of the stuff he leaked about the, like, he was working on a, on a Deadpool movie screenplay, but they can't get... They can't get anyone to actually pick it up because Deadpool isn't mainstream enough. Like, I think he's some... pretty mainstream. Yeah, but he's not like okay. acceptable mainstream. We're all nerds. He's not acceptable mainstream. Though. He's mainstream to nerds. Yeah, like, I was going to say I, I see to... like his buttons all the time at conventions, but then I realize conventions, conventions. are for nerds. And also, yeah. a lot of people at conventions don't actually know what they're actually dressing up or wearing merchandise of. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, like, I had the yeah. same problem. When I was talking about manga, I was like, yeah, this is a fairly mainstream manga, but I'm like, wait, I read a lot of manga. Like, <laughs> I, to, to people who don't read manga, this isn't mainstream at all. Like, the only thing that's mainstream to them is fucking Bleach. Yeah, basically. Pretty uh, much. Yeah, so, I don't even know where we were before we went off on that tangent. Uh, this is still, I um, was talking about my that, RPG, and, the, yeah, and that's, oh. before that, we were on Zack. We, we need to complain about one more thing, though. The new Superman movie, where Superman oh, kills all those people. Yep. We, you're, you're about several months fucking out of date. Steel. But yeah, that movie was absolute I fucking I garbo. I just recently watched that movie. I hated I it. I, just, it I pirated that movie, and I'm proud that I didn't pay for it. Exactly. And Dude. then the Christian themes. Like, really? Really? The creators of Superman were Jewish. Yeah, Superman. Yeah. Superman's a Jewish superhero, if anything. And I mean... I, and he's not even based on Jesus, he's based on Moses, for fuck's sake. Yeah, I yeah. just... I just lost it when Superman killed that many people. I like, Superman killed, Zod. killed people. He killed Zod. Apparently niggas can hotbox with a Zod. <laughs> they... 
Zod is like the greatest Superman villain because he he's like other than Pizarro, but Pizarro is good for other reasons. Zod Man. is like one of the best Superman villains, and they just fucking offed him. And also, for some reason, VLC, honestly, VLC is crapping out. I have no idea what's going on with that. Sorry. But honestly, um, like, Superman villains kind of suck anyway. Yeah. Like, yeah. the only like, good Superman, Superman villains, villains are other Kryptonians. Pretty much. And honestly, a lot of, like, Batman villains, like, all those kind of, like, classic superheroes and all that, their villains fucking suck a lot uh, of the time. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll admit that. Like, Batman, Batman, like, has, Batman, like, four good villains. Batman has maybe the Joker, Penguin, depending on the run. Batman had Polka Dot Man. Polka Can we talk Dot about that? No. Polka Dot Man. Is yeah, so he also great. has fucking Calendar Man. <laughs> Calendar Man's Calendar actually Man. cool, though. Calendar Man's That's cool actually now. No, it's a cool idea. I, I like him in the runs. He's cool now. He wasn't cool like when he first started. Oh well, yeah, but like it's most people aren't. Like basing a a crime and like how to solve it entirely around like a date and you have yeah. to solve the mystery to it. That's a cool idea. He's I like. like it. He's like the Riddler, only not bad. Yeah. Well, the yeah. Riddler Actually, it sucks. depends. Depends on what run you're. You're taking your Riddlers from. Mm, well, majority, the majority. The, of the Riddler Riddlers, has so much potential, and they just the throw it away. Majority of the Riddlers are terrible. Yeah, the majority. It, like of them. It's, it's, it depends on which writer you get. If you have a writer that's really creative, Calendar yeah. Man and Riddler are great characters. Yeah, like, like Joker, you can just go fucking batshit bananas on it, and it will you will get him. something good. Like I except, still... <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> ha -ha, I made a, ch a child cry. <laughs> <laughs> that kid's report card. You know what? You know what? I would actually read a Batman comic for the Joker. Like he he's got he's had the shit beaten out of him like every day in 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 the week. So like or, like it's, it's like Sunday. He's like kind of bored. So he, and he doesn't want to deal with Batman. So he just goes out and just like little misdemeanors that wouldn't attract Batman at all. Oh god! Like well, he steals candy from a baby. So like, after the first run after Detective Comics is what you want. Because Joker straight up like runs up to this little kid who's like has his report card. And he's like, "Yay, my dad's gonna be so happy that I got an A." And then he takes it, fuck your happiness. It up, and then the kid starts crying, and he runs away like, "Ha ha! I made a child cry." <laughs> <laughs> that's almost as that's almost as good as everyone laughing at his boner. Oh god, there aren't enough characters in comics that are truly insane. We need yeah. more of them. I need more. I need. I want every. I want a comic which has every character in it, completely insane. Mm. Like you know, the civilians just watch and they're like, "What the fuck is going on?" And the and, heroes, and the, hero, nuts, the heroes, the heroes even, the heroes nuts. even crazier than the villains. Yes, that's almost Deadpool. Mm. Almost. Um, well, Deadpool fought zombified versions of the founding fathers. Which is great. Which is I need brilliant. more of that. He didn't. He didn't kill Lincoln though. Lincoln died. By other ways, I think. Deadpool versus Typhoid Mary was pretty close. <laughs> pretty close. Not close enough. Oh, that pissed uh, me off, though. Like, they... In between... Okay, Deadpool versus Typhoid Mary took three issues. The art style for Typhoid Mary changed three times. Like, they had a different guy each time? Yes. Like, the first time they animated her... Or drew her, they, they had her like the, um... This really 50s version of her. Second mm. time, it's a more, like, elegant. And the third time's a lot closer to what we have now, which is, like, the badass leather jacket chick. So like, did, Deadpool, so... did Deadpool at least pass comment? The, the nope. writing it? So Deadpool didn't even notice. They changed Deadpool slightly, too, but it was less noticeable because Deadpool's, De uh, Deadpool's, Deadpool's got a uniform. Yeah, like, Deadpool's design, you don't fuck with it. I mean... Oh, and it's... if you do fuck with it, you better be ready to get yelled at. Oh, it pissed me off. They changed the color black to blue on his outfit. No, so what you need to do if you fuck with it is go with like Dynasty Warrior Seven Lu Blue Lu alternative costume route, where you take the like dark colors and then just change it to very vibrant versions of that and make it look insane. Because it usually looks sick when you do that. Okay, well. Um. Actually, in the second issue, they had Typhoid Mary, and her hair was dreads. And then in the third issue, it was like mangled bedhead hair from like one of those natural uh, dark-haired women on the on the fucking furniture commercials, yeah, like yeah. Cindy Crawford shit. So basically, she climbed out of the woolly hole. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> How can my podcast possibly be this cute? <laughs> I think I found the title for this episode. Oh, uh, yes. How can my podcast possibly be this cute? Yes, that's, that's the title. I watch it for the plot. Write that down. I watch that podcast for the plot. We, we're, we're spinning a rich narrative. Yep. Uh, we, we've spent so much, more, so much time rambling. This is an easy podcast. <laughs> um, so, as for what I've been playing, it hasn't really changed from last week because I got so caught up in uh, school stuff. So, I'm still playing Pony Fantasy VI and I'm playing Fallout. And Jesus Christ, it's Fallout. It takes so long to do anything. Like, I don't, like, I'm not even using a guide, basically, except, like, for parts where I'm absolutely, like, yeah, I have no idea Hi, what I'm this doing. is Bethesda. Have you guys met? <laughs> but it's, but it's, like, I'm looking for the water chip. I've got 117 days left, and I get the, f and, like, I've only just been told about Necropolis, where, like, a light bulb went off in my head, and I was like, oh, shit, I remember Necropolis is where you get the water chip and get introduced to the super mutants. I'm on episode seven. I've only just heard about it, and I have no idea where it is, and no one is telling me. You blew it! Basically! It's like, mmm. <clears throat> it's like the more you play old games, the more you realize that game design really has changed and become a lot more streamlined as time's gone on. Like, um, Pony Fantasy VI, I, it's still Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy VI. It still has all the issues of it. But it's like, you get to the one town, and like you get one hint, and your one hint is... Don't jump between the rooftops. You'll hurt yourself. So you're like... Don't fucking die. Have fun, kids. Yeah, but but so re immediately they say, okay, don't jump between rooftops. Well, that means I, go to the rooftops. That means go to the rooftops and try jumping. Except it's an isometric 2D sprite game for the SNES and there's no jump command. How do you do that? So it turns out you've got to go to one specific hotel where you see people lining up to jump off a roof and then you jump in between roofs in that exact spot. I'm like... Okay, and there's no indication that that specific building is that thing, except maybe once every five minutes, you'll see a guy jump from roof to roof. And you, you know have to be looking at that exact same roof, otherwise he won't spawn, and he won't see, jump, and you'll never see it. We need you, that. We need that. You know what I just like realized that. as you were talking about that, though? Thief has the same problems. Well, thief, well yeah, but... Thief, new thief. Thief is a, thief oh, is God, a new terrible th Let's game. not talk about it. Well, it's not a terrible game. It's a good game, but it's a terrible thief game. Everyone go watch my review it's, and say and see the except thief is terrible. It's not really a good game though. It's like it's Okay, it's 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 worth picking right. up for Look, nine dollars in a bargain bin or Final, less. Final Fantasy VI has has that issue, but Final Fantasy VI is a good game that I will keep playing because I can suplex a fucking train. Thief Thief is a game that takes itself far too seriously and has problems piled on top of game design from the late 90s. Now, it if started suplex, in the 90s. If now, if, suplex, it, if I can well, okay, suplex a train in Thief, then maybe no. we'll be talking. If suplex a train is your, like, bar for good, then <laughs> Metal Gear Rising is a great game it is. where you <laughs> suplex a Metal Gear it is. in the first, like, 20 minutes. It is. So I, Metal, Gear, Metal Gear Rising is, is, was my game of the year. Revenge is so good. Yes. Like, any game where they can realize, wait, we're making a fucking video game here, let's go balls out bananas, is a good Chainsaw. game. Because even Chainsaw. if it's bad, you will have those moments where you'll go back and be like, that was balls out bananas. Like, except, Saints Row. Yeah, like, barring, like, you know, games where, like, the controls hamper you to the point where you're like, no, I don't want to play this game. If the controls are solid and you have gameplay moments that stand out in your mind, you have a good game. Two. I'm just going to keep saying it. Saints Row, balls out except, video game. Except Saints Row 3. Except Saints Row 3, because Saints Row 3 was weird about it. Saints Row 4... Well, Saints in Row the Four first very... two minutes of Saints Row 4, Saints you Row go F out and shoot mm. aliens from Saints the White Row, House. Saints Row 4 was good, but it was good in a way that you really couldn't play it more than once. I've tried to go back and play through uh, it, but without the, without the surprise... That, like Maybe if I was playing it in co-op, but without the surprise, it kind of loses something to me, you know? It's like, yeah. your game has to have those moments, but also has to be, you can play it again and still get enjoyment out of it, even without and the surprise. And I can understand it, but if that one time weren't so legendary for me, like, oh my god, I just... That, the one playthrough is just enough for me to put it so high on my list, because yeah. I love it. Yeah. Wait, like, like, there's not really much difference, like, there's not really much choice in that game, so it's not like you can go through, it's like, I'm gonna pick... Punches, punch, uh, what's the, what's the main bad guy's name? 
I forget his name. Um, Sargon, whatever the fuck. Z uh, something. It's Z Alien something. Alien name. Z. Whatever. We'll call him Z. Yeah, whatever. We'll call him Big Z. Um, Big Dick Z. Big Z, yeah. So like, there's, there's not like a choice where it's like in the beginning where it's like um, cure cancer or cure world hunger. Yeah, it's like that doesn't branch off the story. Like if 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 the, if the game had like big moments where it's like you have to make a choice here, and then the game was completely different. One, like I'd really <coughs> applaud that. But two, that would also probably bring about like playing it again because that sort of game you sort of need the surprise to be able to like have multiple playthroughs. You know what I mean? Which is fair. Yeah, which yeah. is fair. Like to be honest, with that game takes so damn long to complete 100% that it's more than earned your 60 bucks by the time. Actually. Yeah. And I, I 100 percented it pretty easily. It wasn't that difficult. I mean, like, it, how long did it take? Though? Like, it did 10, 15, 20 hours. I don't know. 20 hours? 20 hours? I'd say, I'd say that if the, if you got enjoyment out of the game and you got 20 hours out of it, I'd say yeah. the game has earned your. Because yeah, there are no, games that's... that fucking charge 60 bucks that only last four hours. Yeah, no, that's definitely that 40... worth it. That's that's a good video are... game length. I'm just saying it didn't take too yeah. long compared to a lot of other games. Like, unless you're Japanese, I don't expect, like, 100 hours so, a year. So, games that are $40 and are literally took me 15 minutes to complete. What? Why? What? What games? Ground Zeroes. Oh. Yep. Fuck that game. It's uh, not a game, though. It's, a, it's, it's not a paid a game. advertisement. It's a paid advertisement. It's a tech demo. You paid for an advertisement. That wasn't even a tech demo. Like it was, there was no tech shown off. Yeah. Yep. 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 Oh, that's disappointing. Mm. It's super disappointing. Um. Shots, shots, shots fired. <laughs> <laughs> shots have indeed been fired. Apparently, that's an actual song with like Chris Brown on it. Is it? Yeah. My son do the same thing. about Chris Brown. Well, I mean, maybe Chris Brown. You guys Maybe. should see just the, just the wicking out of this VLC. It is just going like, is it it is starting to look like really old like, when when corrupt video files get all artifacty. Nice. It's, it's very nice. It's very. It looks very professional. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling mm. it. Okay, so other than that, I want to bring up a game that was actually sent to us by our good friend, our good friend Rob, who is also good friends with apparently game developers. You sent us a game. That we were going to talk about. Can we uh, get a cheer sound effect? Get serious. Yes, we're going to get works. serious. Now, please note that this isn't a paid advertisement because we ain't getting paid, and also we're using their music as our outro music. Um, to be honest, it's a pretty good start to a game, and it's free, so like I didn't really go into it with too much expectations. We, we should say what the name of the game is. Uh, I forget it's it. Transcendence. Uh, Transcendence. Transcendence. Shush. I, I was you, just like, as you started talking about, I was like, is he just gonna, I, is he just um, gonna go? <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna go because I was actually looking for the name right about now. I'm yeah, bad with names. Things. If you've watched this podcast for any amount of time, you will know that I am bad at naming things. Oh fuck! I can't believe you've done this. Yeah, <laughs> I, I can't believe I've done this either, mate. Um, Why? It's a what is it? It's a roguelike space explorer thing. Where you control the ship. I wish I had some footage prepared, but yeah, I don't. To be fair, I don't know if it's roguelike. It appears uh, to I be... didn't go through more than one playthrough, so... Yeah, it, appear, it appears to be roguelike, because I started over a couple times, I got more stuff. But, all in all, it's a good start to a game. Uh, and it is still in development, right? I'm not... Uh, I can't remember, honestly. Um, uh, you can download page. it for free, and I'm fairly certain they're still updating it, but... Like, I understand the point that space is supposed to be quiet. But just, if you're just, like, it's also space, so there's a lot of fucking space. So my main problem is, is there's no real atmospheric music. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, you're just drifting along, it's like, hey, I'm in a, I'm in a solar system, I'm just going along. Fuck what was nice is, um, the, their autopilot system yeah. was nice to clear up that space issue. Yeah, it was. Which, it was just, it, 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 it pretty much it just made the map scroll by, like, five times speed. Yeah, but still, there's a lot of space. Like, I, yeah. appla I applaud them for having, like, such a massive, massive universe. Oh, it's to explore. huge. It's fucking it's massive. It's huge. But, it's like an actual universe Yeah, size. but if they put some, maybe some atmospheric music in there, like, just <laughs> something to just fill the time, or even just a hyperspace. But, with a, no, there may be a hyperspace, I just haven't found the button yet. <laughs> I yeah, am... apparently there's like some Mass Effect, like whatever those things were that shot you across the universe. Things. 
yeah. somewhere in the game. So it's, it's a good game. Like, I actually, was, I was killing time earlier. Just I was just dicking about, and I just, I started up a new game, and I just shot the shit out of it. Like, there, you start in the game, and there's this big <clears throat> space station that's supposed to give you tutorials. On a whim, I just started shooting them, and they basically declared war on me. <laughs> yeah. So that's yeah, fun. Yeah, if you shoot your allies too many times, it, uh... They declare war on you. They declare war on you. You um, can't dock with them anymore. It's like, it's a lot of fun. Like the game, yeah. it's it's definitely like a free to play game. Like like I wouldn't I wouldn't pay like a full There's... full price for like I wouldn't pay like a full full indie game price for it. But if they added more stuff to it, like you know filled in music, maybe made the filled in the gaps where like there's a little bit of lull in the game. I think it'd yeah. be a really good game. There's some oh, yeah. few. Problems like in the UI that I don't like though, like uh, when you select any of the ones that like any of the dialogue options on stations that lead you to a mission, it you can't instantly back out. yeah well you can't back out one and it instantly drops you out of the um like out of dialogue into space rather than taking you back yeah to the yeah that's that's a problem I, that's a problem I had as well like it's not like breaking it's not huge. but like it's not huge but it's just the things like. We want the ability to back down. Yeah. And I also, like, even if I don't back down, like, when I complete your conversation, I want to go back to the submenus. Yeah, like, yeah, like maybe... To talk maybe, to them, like, talk to the other people. Yeah, like, maybe you want to, like, go buy some space drugs or something. Or go sell space rice. Yeah. The spice, I sold a lot of space rice. The spice must flow. Mm. I will say I have not played it, but I was looking at it just a couple of seconds ago. It looks a lot like uh, Star Control 2 slash Masters of the Earth. Yeah, it does. I, I must say, though, <laughs> um, the, the first ship they give you, the, the freighter, feels a little bit overpowered because you don't have to target. You don't have to target anything. Cause, like, Do you, you have just... to target any of the ships? Um, the, um... <sighs> Hang on a second. Just that was interesting. Keep talking. Keep talking. I don't know. We're just going to play sound effects. Okay, so while he's gone, everyone, this is the intro for Nozovix when Harrison gets back. Tell me if you love him. Well, that's yeah. just fucking perfect. <laughs> right? I didn't tell him what it was, so... We'll I feel like I can, I can hear that every time Nas walks into the room. Right? Every single oh, time. That was awkward. Actually, uh, play it every time. Yeah, anyway. so Do it now! <laughs> no. <laughs> so, with that out of the way, we're just about coming out. We're just about coming up at uh, time to uh, wrap this thing up. Go on. Um, I have so many more sound effects. I know you have so many more sound effects. So Press let's... them all at the same time. <laughs> no, please don't. I uh, anyway, everyone, as I always, as always, I'm Nozovix. This week, uh, I'm going to keep playing Fallout in Pony Fantasy 4. I've also got some more React stuff and Let's Watches to go, so keep an eye out for those. Uh, YouTube.com slash users in space. Uh, Zach, what are you playing? Keep it brief, please. Don't lose your way! I'm depressed, sorry. Um, I am playing <laughs> so currently... This for 20 goddamn minutes last week. On, uh... <laughs> Look, it was anime season. I already have all my anime up on my channel. Yeah. You can go watch it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you're playing Sakura Spirit. So I'm playing then... Sakura Spirit. I'm not going to play. I'm not pulling other Let's Plays. Let's just be real here. I'm not playing games anymore. <laughs> it's all <laughs> no. Japanese dumb bullshit. Um, besides that, like Sakura Spirit, a bunch of anime reviews. Um, I might do manga reviews eventually. And... Uh, what else was there? There was something else. I can't remember it. But, uh, yeah. As are all plays, th that's where you can find me. Alright, on to you, Nick. Right, so, uh, same shit is always coming out. Got more PID. Just recently did a Let's Play with, um, uh, a couple other YouTubers, Redstone Soup and Frack in a Box, that no one knows. They're, they're not big. They're not going to see this. Um, it's, a, it's a group play of uh, Left 4 Dead. Your friends Cold better Story. watch this motherfucker. Yeah, they better, jackasses. We need, them, uh, we need to pump up their numbers. I don't actually know them. I just met them on <laughs> our Let's Collab. So, uh, yeah, but um, yeah, we're doing that. I got that coming out. We got more Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke Challenge and um, uh, more PID. And I will actually have some Hearthstone coming out. I unexpectedly wound up with some of the footage of that after I did a versus match and got actually absolutely destroyed by my friend Kasim. 
So there's that, and then the other series that I'm planning. So, right. yeah. Well, the All other right. thing that's going to come up, um, eventually, Nozvix and I just bought a game. Yes, I, the, was it, Divine... I something or other. I oh yeah, that's Either on way, sale. it's a very shitty source game. We're gonna be playing with Harrison. Divine hopefully. Cybermancy. Divine yeah. Cybermancy. And also, I'm gonna make him play Skullgirls with me at some yeah, point. Yeah, we will. We'll, I'll get to it, man. I'll get to it. My okay. control, my controller's fucking up, and I don't have a fight stick. So I, I might just have to go out and buy a new Xbox controller, bite the bullet. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so, everyone. Um, yeah, this is what we'll leave on. Today's. Okay. Yep. Today's outro music is actually music from the game Transcendence. Go download that game and, and, you know, tell them non-content podcast sent you. And also tell them to pimp us out because we like free swag. Anyway, I everyone. Mean, we're definitely whores. Yes, so. we are. We'll see you next week, everybody. Well, maybe you guys are whores. I'm, I'm perfect. You're a classy, that. classy lady. Thank <laughs> you.